Uh, Patrick, yes, it's a beautiful evening here tonight, but they're still dealing with some rain that was left over from a Monday and Sunday really is where we saw the heaviest of that. I'm going to step out of the way. I'm here at Brookfield Hills and uh, golf course in Brookfield and you can see the pathway here, which typically golf carts go down is covered with water. We were here earlier. It was a little bit higher, but with the dry conditions, it has since improved uh, as as the staff has came out uh, on Monday and today they have been working tirelessly to open back up paths to get some of this uh, flood water under control. They say that this is not the worst that they've seen uh, on their time here at this golf course, but they still saw this as a surprise when they came in Monday to get to work. Sunday was the start to 36 hours of rain. I knew that uh, Monday was going to be going to be a surprise when I pulled into the property and uh, it, it sure was. The water was all the way over this tee box, over the green and it was pretty high out here. Brookfield Hills golf course picked up over seven inches of rain, temporarily changing the landscape to a pool. The water was high and it was the highest it's been all year and I could have waded around most of the course in the water, if not swam hold the hole. Now the cleanup begins raking, cutting grass, draining and even shoveling. A lot of the times if it's on the greens, we actually have to use like just uh, snow shovels to get the puddles off the greens. Removing standing water from the greens prevents it from turning brown. We really need to get the water off the course because it's so beautiful. I mean, it's coming closer to the end of the season, so everyone's trying to get those last rounds in. Despite the leftover puddles, a few people took advantage of Tuesday sunshine. And this is her first time playing golf. We knew that today would be a very easy day with no one here, so it's perfect for us. The rain is benefiting you. 100%. Yes. Well, Daji, how many golfers would typically golf at Brookfield Hills? Uh, well, typically, if there were no pathways blocked off or some ponding water, around 200 golfers at different tee times would be here on a beautiful day like today. Uh, the staff here say they plan to be fully open as we head into the end of the week, but I'll let you know golfers have already come out this evening and they're enjoying the sun so far, just being cautious of what is left of that heavy rain that came through on Sunday and early Monday. Patrick, they still want to get out there, Dodgy. Squad in Brookfield tonight.